Newton's laws of gravity was a landmark step towards understanding how matter is held together in space. Brian Greene went on to add that Newton discovered his laws of gravity more than 300 years ago. His equations describing this force make such accurate predictions that we still make use of them today. In fact, scientists needed nothing more than Newton's equations to plot the course of a rocket that landed men on the moon. But while Newton's laws described the strength of gravity with great accuracy, he had no idea how gravity actually works. 250 years later, the answer to this problem finally arrived. Physicist Peter Gallison from Harvard University flashes back a bit to explain how Einstein came to think of the three dimensions of space and the single dimension of time as bound together in a single fabric of space-time. It was his hope that by understanding the geometry of this four-dimensional fabric of space-time that he could simply talk about things moving along surfaces in this space-time fabric. Physicist Brian Greene adds, like the surface of a trampoline, this unified fabric is warped and stretched by heavy objects like planets and stars. And it's this warping or curving of space-time that creates what we feel as gravity. A planet like the Earth is kept in orbit not because the sun reaches out and instantaneously grabs hold of it, as in Newton's theory, but simply because it follows curves in the spatial fabric caused by the sun's presence. Six times, in two paragraphs by Gallison and Green, the word fabric is repeated. It may be interesting to note that describing the cosmic web that holds the four dimensions of space-time together in a fabric structure resonates in more than one verse in the Quran. Even the scientist vocabulary is quite amazingly identical to the Quran. How? We'll soon find out. Let us first check the significance of the word fabric. Fabric, by definition in the Microsoft's Encarta Encyclopedia, is any type of cloth made from woven, knitted, or felted threads or fibers. What are the fibers? A fiber is a thin thread, which is a long, slender thread or filament. In Webster's New World Dictionary, a fabric is anything constructed or made of parts put together, structure, building. Moreover, it is, according to Webster, the framework or basic structure of anything. Chambers English Dictionary describes fabric as texture, anything framed, also manufactured cloth, any system of connected parts. In verse 7, chapter 51 of the Quran, we find a thorough description defining the cosmic structure as fabric. It appears in an oath taken by God. It reads, By the heaven, streaked with fabric, interwoven threads. In his book, Pale Blue Dot, astrophysicist and writer Carl Sagan opens chapter 22, titled, Tiptoeing Through the Milky Way, with another oath from the Quran. 
verses 75 and 76, chapter 56. I swear by the shelters of the stars a mighty oath, if you but knew it. To know and to measure the magnitude of such oath is a job exclusively assigned to theoretical physicists, cosmologists, astrophysicists, and scientists from other domains. According to the Quranic tradition, God would swear by a phenomenon, be it astronomically colossal or worldly small, observable by us today or yet to be observed tomorrow only for a reason. In no need to take an oath, God would only do this to draw the reader's attention to the great importance of the content of the oath and to the ensuing information. Shelters of the stars, according to Sagan, or sights of the stars in other translations, would make one wonder those descriptions of the gatherings of the stars in the cosmic structure, aren't they most fitting to what cosmologists identify today as the star clusters and star superclusters? One would further ponder, aren't these clusters exactly the knots and nodes referred to in every description of the cosmic web? One cannot resist recalling the Quranic word Al-Habuk at this point. The word stands out as a perfect description of all that. As is always the case with the Quranic Arabic vocabulary and semantics, it only takes most of the time to examine just one word to experience a richness over a variety of scales in meaning and shadows of meaning, hence the translation difficulty. Two Arabic words with a preposition in between are translated in English in eight. Writer Leslie Hazelton who is currently working on a new biography of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, due in 2012, shares this view of the exclusive semantics of the Quran. And I began to grasp why it said that the Quran is really the Quran, only in Arabic. Take the Fatiha, the seven verse opening chapter that is the Lord's Prayer. It's just 29 words in Arabic but anywhere from 65 to 72 in translation. And yet the more you add, the more seems to go missing. Al-Hubuk, the Arabic word in the verse describing the cosmic fabric, would come to mean a collection of a variety of textures that are firmly bound together in a certain pattern. It also intonates that the interwoven threads are being produced by a systematic method. The textures are shaped across paths or lines tightly pulled together over knots arranged on the surface. The word also implies that the interwoven threads are skillfully knitted by a master maker. Finally, the word may synonymize with routes extended across a space. Galaxies were once regarded as island universes, isolated realms of gas, dust, and billions of stars that were separated by distances unimaginably vast. But no galaxy is an island. In fact, galaxies prefer company. The gravitational pull of a large, massive galaxy attracts light-sized and smaller neighbors. Galaxies may gather in modest groupings like these or congregate by the hundreds in enormous clusters. This is Abel 1689, one of the largest galaxy clusters known. It packs more than 500 galaxies. 
This view spans some two million light years, or about the distance between our Milky Way galaxy and the nearest big spiral. As a strong for this video, I just wanted to ask if you guys believe that people have actually gone, have actually left Earth to go to other places, like maybe other planets. That's crazy. But if they've gone to like the moon or something like that, do you guys believe in that story? Let me know in the comment section below.